Kabismo's Marauder Shields is an acclaimed alternative ending to Mass Effect 3 and the entire Mass Effect trilogy, presented in web comic and audiobook form. It's also the project that brought us all together, regardless of what we thought of Mass Effect 3's original endings. Marauder Shields began as a brief parody webcomic published on Kubismo's DeviantArt page, meant as a way of venting frustration caused by the lackluster ending of Mass Effect 3, which sparked massive fan protests and became one of the biggest gaming-related controversies of 2012. Inspired by Mike Kobayashi's His Name Was Marauder Shields video, the first five episodes of the comic remained nothing but satire, presenting a rather lowbrow humoristic approach. Everything changed with Episode 6, when Kubismo decided to shift his initial sarcastic tone and transform the series into an actual alternative conclusion to the Mass Effect trilogy, bringing closure and a fitting end to himself and others, while still providing meta-commentary about the fans' struggle for a new ending and the relationship between the gaming industry and its recipients. In the words of Gamefront's Phil Hornshaw, Marauder Shield stopped being a comedy about a meme and started being something more. The comic's distinctive style and writing echoed the feel of the game so well that it began to seem as though Kabisma was actually writing not just a piece of fanfiction, but something that could have been produced by developer Bioware itself. Marauder Shield started to feel like a piece of the world of Mass Effect. The tonal shift was followed by rising acclaim from both gamers disappointed with Mass Effect 3's original endings and those who enjoyed them. Kabisma's writing, attention to detail, and storytelling bravado brought about a series that, for many, transcended the limits of what was understood, often incorrectly, as fan fiction. The ever-present feeling of purpose and the guiding emotion, referenced in the series' tagline, Hope is Alive, created, in nerd-like Hugh's Tom Hoover's words, a story arc that has not only expanded upon the lore in some fantastically interesting ways, but is also very well done at the same time. Following the release of Episode 21, considered to be another milestone, the comic was enhanced with irregularly released audiobook chapters, voiced by a talented cast of voice actor professionals and amateurs, sparking the creation of our team and leading to even more praise. When I see adaptations, they aren't usually quite as touching and heartfelt, said Obsidian Entertainment's lead writer and game development legend Chris Avalone. Bioware itself called the series rad and phenomenal stuff, with additional words of commendation coming from Mass Effect's original voice actors and other game development and storytelling professionals. But what Marauder Shields was always focused on, and remains focused on to this day, was its dependence on the Mass Effect community and interactions with its own fans and readers, united in their willingness to accept Marauder Shields' expanded universe as their own. Grown as a fan-made project, with Kubismo loudly identifying himself as a Mass Effect-loving nerd, Marauder Shields is the effort of a team of fans, enjoying their own talents and creativity, and, for many, making sure that their beloved franchise receives an ending they can enjoy themselves. <laughs>